Hey, what's up, guys? Jay Stingray back here again on another Wicked Wednesday here on the House of Horror. Today I'm reviewing Critters 3. Yes, another Critters film. Uh, just bear with me. We only have two more films. We have this film and part four, and then I'll be finished with the Critters, and I won't have any more films to review on the channel. I know you guys are probably getting tired of the uh, Critters reviews, but um, yeah, this, this film, Critters 3 and Critters 4, were filmed back-to-back, -back. and uh, this film came out in 1991. It is directed by Christine Peterson, and her name probably will not sound very familiar because she hasn't done a whole lot um, directing-wise. She directed Critters 3, uh, Kickboxer 5, and some TV work, like uh, you may remember the show called Silk Stockings. She directed an episode of that, and that's about it. But uh, she was first assistant director on Tremors and A Nightmare on Elm Street, The Dream Child, so few other horror titles there that you know you may or may not be familiar with her uh, name but film stars John Calvin Christian and Joseph Cousins Don Keith Opper and Leonardo DiCaprio this is Leonardo DiCaprio's first feature film this is his debut and actually so much so that they put his picture here on the front which uh, back in these days he really hadn't done a whole lot other than uh, you may remember he was on the Growing Pains show for a couple seasons, I think. And that's about the only thing I remember him from around this time period. But, yeah, this is before uh, Titanic blew up his career. And uh, I mentioned Don Keith Opera is back. That's Charlie. He's the, the only character returning from the films, uh, except for at the very end of this film, you get to see the Ugg character. That's uh, Terrence... I can't remember his name, but Ter Terrence something. He, uh, you get to see him up here at the end of the film. And, uh, but yeah, that's that's about it. Lots of, uh, not a lot of known names in this film other than Leonardo, but film starts off, and you can immediately tell, even with the title credits, that it's uh, not on the same caliber of film as part two. But uh, this film is a, a fairly decent film. I was kind of reluctant to watch this one. I haven't seen it since I like saw it back on VHS back in the early 90s, and um, I didn't really like it very much, but I did enjoy it quite a bit more on this second viewing. I just watched it earlier today, but um, yeah, the film starts out with, uh, there's this, this family, a father and his uh, son and daughter, and their RV breaks down, so they're fixing the RV, and that's how the critter eggs, the uh, crite eggs, get onto the RV, and they fix the RV and they go back to their apartment complex and uh, it's this kind of like seedy, run-down apartment complex and that's the critters get into the apartment complex and you'll notice in this film they grow a lot faster, like they start out like almost normal size, so kind of something that's not consistent with the other two, the first two films. But um, yeah, they get into the apartment complex and you know, they start wreaking havoc and killing people, and um, it, it essentially turns into a film where the people in the apartment complex are trapped. The critters have them trapped inside. And then uh, Leonardo DiCaprio shows up with his dad, who actually owns the building, and he's trying to um, force all the tenants out of the building so he can not have to pay uh, the, the relocation fee. So he's, he cuts the power is the first thing he does, and then they go in. and um, So that's how Leo is introduced to the, uh, the, uh, the family. They, they met him in the first scene of the film, but this is when he actually gets, gets into the cast more. And so from that point on, they're all fighting the, uh, the critters, and then Charlie's character shows up out of nowhere, and he um, starts killing all the critters. One thing I wanted to mention uh, that I forgot to mention earlier was this has uh, Christian and Joseph Cousins in it, and they're twins. And you may remember them from Kindergarten Cop. They're the the two blonde, or it's only one kid in the film and is, is in Kindergarten Cop, but uh, it's twins playing the role of one child. You know, kind of something they used to do. Uh, they may still do it, but it's where you have twins or triplets playing one part. So. I guess if one's having a bad day or not in a good mood or whatever, you can bring in the other kid and maybe they can do a better job. But 
Um, yeah, he's in here, and I watched the whole damn film, and I was like, where have I seen that kid before? And turns out it was from Kindergarten Cop, and that's uh, uh, Christian and Joseph Cousins. They're playing the one role of the main kid in the film, Joey or something like that. Um, but yeah, Don Keith Hopper shows up, Charlie, and uh, starts killing the Krites, and from that point on, they eventually, you know, escape and all that good shit. And at the very end, uh, you get to see the setup for the fourth film, Critters 4, which Critters 4 is in space, and it's not a very good film at all, and you can see kind of why the, um, the series died after that, but yeah, you'll be seeing a review of that one probably next week, but uh, um, this film's okay. I would definitely recommend it. If you're a fan of the Critters franchise and you haven't seen this one yet, check it out, but Otherwise, there's plenty of other uh, horror comedies that are a lot better than this one. Um, and if you're a Leonardo DiCaprio fan, check it out. I am uh, i don't really hate him as an actor like a lot of people do, but I'm not a huge fan or anything. I think he's done a lot of uh, cool stuff. Kind of, you know, one of the things actors have to do is once you kind of get your name out there and you get established, you can start taking roles that you actually want to take, which, you know, he kind of took titanic you know to make money and get his name out there and everything and now that he's established himself now established himself he's able to to you know move on and, and do better stuff and stuff that he actually cares about doing but um yeah still one of the big names in hollywood these days so keep an eye out for leo and uh yeah thanks for watching guys let me know what you think peace